everybody. It's getting so cold out, I just like to snuggle in, get all nice and warm, and read a good story. In fact, here, here, let me, let me read you a little bit of a story here, a little something to tuck yourselves in with. Chapter One: The Long First Day. <clears throat> These cold days and sip of hot cocoa. Mm. All right. <clears throat> Come on, said the Lou. Help me load up these packs. When we're ready to go, we'll stop for gas and snacks. Sounds good, Ty replied, as he gave him a smile. I'll use the bathroom first, since we'll be driving a while. Then they are loaded and ready to travel. They pull out on the roadway, out of the gravel. When a noise from the back made them ask, What's the matter? And a voice rose up swiftly. I must empty my bladder. So, as two grabbed snacks, sodas, and tea, the other two of the group finally went to pee. Then they all loaded right back into the van. No one's bladder could ruin this well-laid plan. With Lou as the driver and Ty as the DJ, they drove down some roads and hopped on the freeway. After drinking some sodas and jamming to tunes, a sign said their exit was coming up soon. Maneuvering through traffic in a way that's quite witty, a short time later they spotted the city. We'll be there real soon, said Lou, taking a left. The nav says it's up here a minute or less. They pulled up and unloaded and got to the room. With the hunger setting in, they started the zoom. They had to find something to put in the tummy. That something would hopefully be something yummy. The food that they found was better than bomb. The perfect meal to have before cosplay prom. They headed back to their rooms for some time to digest and to freshen up and get snazzily dressed. Once they were ready and couldn't do any more, Lou looked into the camera to say, Here we are at J1 con. We're getting ready to go to the cosplay prom, so we'll see you on the That's dance right. floor. Oh, and dance they did late into the night. They danced to the left, they danced to the right. They danced till they couldn't, and then danced some more. All of them could feel their bodies get sore. As they shambled like zombies right to their beds, the pillows barely had time to get under their heads. Even though tired from all of the fun, they all knew in their hearts, this'll be an awesome J1. Well, that's the end of that chapter. You know what? Come back next time. I'll read another chapter to you guys. All right. You guys have a good night.